Hello. Sorry, we had a blue screen situation that just happened. Um, so my apologies, everyone. But let's get right back into it. As Victor was saying that he was going to be the house uh, house mouse today. Um, anyway, what was the plan? You want to go to Blackwood's Apothecary, correct? Yep. Um, sure. Well, you don't have to go if you don't want to. Maybe he wants to see what an apothecary is like. Should I display the map on the uh, stream or no? Up to you. I don't think it's overly important with this game. Yeah, no. The whole thing is supposed to take place in Theater of the Mind. I'm just kind of trying to give you guys an, a layout of where things are. Well, okay. it helps with, like, figuring out how close stuff is or not. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, but I don't think that's needed for stream side. Correct. Okay, cool. So, uh, you guys are heading to uh, Blackwood's Apothecary. So feel free to walk on down there. Oops. Charlie just standing in the background and watching. Well, we are only 25 feet away. <laughs> You're hilarious. Uh, I know I am. Yes, I will move Maxine. Okay. Um, as you walk over there, you are greeted with this site. And then as you walk into the building, you are greeted by this person. So when they enter shops and stuff like that, I will be entering with them and just kind of like perusing the wares as they talk to the person. Sorry, I just heard another weird noise and I don't know whether it was my computer or whether it was like somebody scratching at the window. Nobody's scratching at your window. You somebody weirdo. unplugging his internet. You're gonna be murdered. It, it was like a could be a dying fan how old's your computer uh, or a the, branch the outside fans are old no it's not a branch outside uh, yeah. there's no branches where my window is yeah, so you would have a dying fan or something they can make a lot of noise well it did it for like two seconds and stopped um okay hey what do we see inside here well give me two seconds and i will describe it to you Okay. One, two. So, Blackwood's Apothecary is a small mystical hey. shop filled with shelves of dried herbs, crystal balls, and mysterious potions. The shop's exterior is adorned with ivy and a wrought iron sign that reads Blackwood's Apothecary. They have herbal remedies, fortune telling, and items related to the supernatural. Uh, it's a dimly lit shop, shelves lined with jars of dried herbs, crystal balls, and unusual potions. Uh, it also has, like, Western medicine as well, but they do ha tend to lean more towards the herbalist side of things. Uh, the air is heavy with the earthy scents of dried herbs, and the aroma of incense wafts from a corner, adding to the air of mystique in the room. Um, it feels kind of otherworldly. Um, making you feel like you've entered a realm of secrets and hidden knowledge. There's a eerie ambiance of mystical tones that plays softly in the background, uh, which enhances the feeling that this is a place where there's a boundary between the mundane and magical. Um, it's... Was that actually what she's wearing? Yep. Okay. What? 
Apparently we're in the 1920s. No, 1820s. <laughs> That's rude. Uh, anyway. I, I okay. mean, people wear that now. You go to the right She's places. Pulling, hey, doesn't matter. She's pulling it off. It's good. Yeah, she looks nice, but. She's like. And she doesn't have red hair. Exactly, is a first. Okay. Um. So, as you enter, she's like, Welcome. How can I help you? Hi there. Uh. Is your name Cass? Yes, that's me. Cassandra. What can I do you for don't you? don't go by Cass, do you? I mean, my friends can call me Cass, but I don't know you. Do you drink? Yes. Just check. You're a strange one, aren't you? Sometimes. What can I do for you? Nothing. Did we lose them? I don't know. Hello? Hello? Yeah, we can oh, hear you know. now. The cat stepped on our stupid speaker. Sorry. Hey. I don't know if you've heard or I not. I did not hear we... what you were saying. No, no, no. I'm I'm saying that... She's literally, she's literally saying what she said before. Yes. I don't know if you've heard or not. Uh, and I've discovered that some people haven't, but we're doing some research in town. Uh, staying at Avalon's. Yeah, we're staying at Avalon's. And she actually gave me your name of somebody that we might want to talk to. Uh, oh, are you experiencing some pains? Maybe no, no, headaches, no, no. About, migraines? About, nope, nope, all good. I will be sure to come back here, though, if I Body have aches. anything like that. No, 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 no. Uh, we're talking about the phenomenon that's going on in town here. Some people have been having some different things with the power outages and seeing you things. You seem and... awfully fast to answer that you weren't having any pains. Do you not want her to know about something? No, I'm... Why? It's... No. It's... I just... I don't want... I don't want her to, you know, waste any of her valuable time. Because I'm, you know, she's a... Now I've got to think of the word proprietus. Is that the right word? Of this establishment. So it's I don't know like, if I'm it's. Sure I don't know if that's a male and female word. I feel like it is. Oh, it doesn't matter. But I'm sure that you're busy as an owner of a shop. But I was just wondering whether you've seen anything. Evelyn seemed to imply that you might know something about what's going on in town here if you want to talk to my myself and my young friend here there is a dark energy over the town that's for sure um many different things plague this town whether it be one thing or another um what exactly are you investigating exactly that um, we've been hearing stuff, we've seen some stuff in the news online and things like that about different things that have gone on in town. So we're just here to see if we can get to the bottom of it. Like with the people have talked about flickering lights, whispering. Um, oh, you're talking, you're looking into that right now. Right, right. What are you talking about? Oh, I know plenty of other things as well. What do you know? All in due time, young one. Okay. Well, can you tell us about what everybody else seems to be talking about? Sure. The whispering, I the power outages? I don't know exactly what it might be, 
I haven't done my research into it because I tend to stay away from dark entities. However, I know when they're nearby. On chi ominous. chilly nights, you can hear whispers that are carried on the wind. These whispers are this creature that you seek, plotting its next move. If you listen closely, you might catch glimpses of the icy phantom lurking in the moonlit darkness. Have you felt this in any particular area in town? Or just Not in particularly, general? no. It seems to happen in areas that are more What's the word I'd be looking for? Crowded? It likes to make itself known. Crowded. Interesting. Interesting. Where there's a large amount of people. I mean, you have to ask yourself, why does it target Evelyn's? Mm -hmm. Or the mill. Back when it was running, sure. Right. Do you know anywhere else in town that it's been rumored? You'd have to ask around. I, um... While I don't keep to myself, I tend to keep these things to myself. There's not a lot of attraction to the supernatural around town. Okay. My remedies help people through their day, but they don't want to hear about dark auras or dark energies that surround our town. So do you have a suggestion of it? Well, go ahead. What? I just said I can see why. I oh, didn't want okay. to hear about those things. Is there anybody that you think that would be willing to talk to us or we're just we're just trying to, you know, get to the bottom of it, trying to figure out more about it, I guess. I understand what you're saying, though, about the, the darkness and things like that. But so we want to we want to help. We want to see if we can, I don't know, get rid of it or or yeah, like find out what's causing it. I would do a search and look into cryokinesis. There's a specific article that I read that I thought was very interesting. Cryokinesis and the manipulation of ice. Fact or fiction? I tend to think fact. Anyway, as you were saying, I am very busy. So I must get back to work. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Did you, did you want anything in here, Wyatt? Since you were so no. curious about it? No. It smells funny in here. <laughs> it is a bit different. But lovely. I'm sure. Have a lovely day. You too, Cassandra. Thank you. Okay, so we had a... Okay, crowd kinesis, what? Oh, you didn't get all that? No, I didn't. Cryokinesis and the manipulation of ice, fact or fiction? Fiction, duh. Fiction. Fact or fiction? Okay. Okay. 
so she didn't have anybody for us to talk to, but what time is it now? Uh, 530. Oh, what do you want to do now, Wyatt? Um, that's a good question. There's a few other places, but I feel like we're getting to the time of day when people are going to start closing up. Um, I think I'm good to go back for the night, but... Yeah. Because I know you want to get up in the morning, but it's like we yeah. also talk to people about going to the pub. You can't go to the pub, but... Yes, you can. Or is... Oh, he can? Yeah. It's that kind of pub? Yep. Okay. Never mind. Did you want to go to the pub for a bit before you head to bed, or what do you want to do? Yes, so if that's what y'all want to do. Well, I think it'd be wise, because like I said, once people are drinking a little bit, I think we might get a little more info. Loose lips and Yeah, everything. we should go to the pub and drink some and get some info. No, no, no. You are not <laughs> drinking, Wyatt. But he always says. Okay, so we're heading back to our. Is Victor at the diner? Uh, I think or so. At the lodge. Well, you tell you tell me, Victor. Where are you? Where are you, Victor? Still at the lodge right now. Just kind of minute watching everybody where they're heading. Listening on the comms in case anybody's needing anything. All the dots converge on you suddenly. So, oh, what's the plan for this evening? I'm thinking that we go to the pub. I know that, uh, I don't know if Frankie's gonna meet us or not, but. I know that they were staking out, but I don't know if they were going to head in later or not, or what's happening with that. But Yeah, her her beacon's still at uh, the Albatross Estate. Okay. So I guess they're going to stay there for now. Do you, uh, you want to get something? Oh, no. Can we eat at the pub? Yep. We can get drinks at the pub. We can get drinks at the pub. I said. We can get drinks at the pub. It's a great idea. That is exactly what he said. Well, I... We is in us. Yeah, we is in us. Not you. <laughs> that is rude. We as in you can have pop, Wyatt. Oh. That's not what everybody goes to the pub for. It's what you're going for. But everybody seems to think that there's something better to drink at the pub. Want to drink the good stuff. We'll let you try the new, the good stuff in six years. I think that I've earned it. Is it 19 in the Northwest Territories? It is. Probably. But, he, but he's 14, so it'd be no, five I, years. I realize that. Oh, five years. I forgot how old he was. That's fine. All right. So you guys are heading to the pub. Uh, I just sent the pictures to the Discord of what yeah. the pub interior and exterior looks like. Wow. Because I'm so generous. As you walk in through the door. Hey. You are greeted by this man. I uh, guess I should send him to the group too. Um, this man. Um, as you walk in, he has a norm. What? 
Remember, everybody knows your name. Uh, a portly, friendly man with a hearty laugh and a ready smile. He's wearing a bartender's apron and is talking to one of the patrons at the bustling pub. As he looks over at you, he says, Oh, hey, uh, newcomers, um, why don't you find a place to seat and I'll be right with you. All right. Sounds great. Why it's all sad because he had, can't have booze. Yeah, bartender, pour uh, this uh, kid a beer, a root yeah. beer. Uh, or beer. A beer would work too. No, that's okay. I've been in trouble a couple too many times for that to uh, fool me. I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> well, when, maybe when your voice changes a little bit, then you'll be able to come back and. Uh, have a drink with me. Clearly, not as clearly now. Anyway, um, what? Like me a hard his time. voice changing back. What's the rest of you uh, wanting a drink? I'll have a gin and tonic, please. Well, Maxine has the has the same taste. Okay. <laughs> and for you. I bet you make a mean old fashioned. Sure do. And I'd what about yourself? Uh, whiskey on ice. It's called on the rocks here, but sure. Uh, I don't drink, okay? <laughs> All right. Uh, so he walks away for a bit, allows you guys to uh, take a look around the bar. Uh, you see some familiar faces around the bar and mostly unfamiliar faces. Okay. Uh, are you wanting me to describe each and every person in the bar to you? Yes, please. Everyone. Exactly what they're wearing. What they're wearing, and the then backstory. I, and then I'd like a picture. I have a picture of most of them, but... Their backstory, their family, their family's names. When they moved here. How about you just tell us which ones we've talked to that have shown up at the bar? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Ari is here. Um, give me a second. Uh, what's her name? Maybe what's you should go name? talk to Ari about who watches over her child. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte Adams is here. CFS? There's CFS? Anybody from CFS here? No. Um, and while Frankie is not here, Edmund is also here. But you don't know what Edmund looks like. We don't know him. Yeah. Is the woman from the... Is the granola woman here? No. Oh. That we don't know the name of? I know the hippie name of chick. it. Yeah, but we don't. I just write it down as hippie chick. Yeah, Frankie doesn't doesn't ask names. Just give me info. I mean, to be fair, that was exactly how it was in the D and D games too. Very rarely right. did you guys ask people people's names. Their names are irrelevant. We can figure it out later if they become important. Okay. <coughs> I think I have like 50 NPCs. And they're all here? No, but I have 50 like NPCs that are named. Other people are not named, such as the old people that you found in the diner, but sure, I'll have the old people from the diner here as well. They just moved, <coughs> moved down the road. Moved from the Nahani Lodge to Turner's Pub. Sounds like a thing that would happen in a small town. Yeah, actually. Day drinking to night drinking. Yeah. So okay. can I can I catch Charlie's eye? Uh yeah. She sees you and kinda gives like a half hearted wave. Who's she with? 
um, just another couple of people. Okay. And do we have money for buying drinks or no? Yeah. So basically, you have money for doing whatever you want. Uh, the okay. only... Uh, so like... There's somebody in the game who will help you with like upgrading your equipment and stuff. That's going to require you to like get something specific for him. It's not going to be just, oh, we have money. Uh, money makes yeah. So like you can buy whatever you need. But when it comes to like, oh, we're going to get this $50,000 car. No, you're not. You have yeah, money so to afford life and necessities so like with Wyatt okay. looking at that jacket he could probably get it with the money that he has but um, when you're going like above and beyond no so you can buy the $200 jacket but not the $3,000 one yeah so Maxine can buy a round of drinks for everybody in the bar then if she wanted to sure to build, to build camaraderie yeah there you go. And get everybody a bit more drunk. I think that sounds like a great idea. We should definitely buy a round for everybody. Everybody gets a round and except, he gets a root beer. Except for Wyatt. Wah, wah. Okay, I'm gonna head over to Charlie's table. Uh she's like, oh Wait. hi. Um Maxine, right? Correct. How's it going? Uh, good. How's it going with you guys? Um, not bad. What can we do for you? I was just wondering if I could buy a round of drinks for you guys and, I don't know, sit down and join you if that's okay? Um, sure. Um, yes. while... Sorry, actually, I should mention uh, before, so you don't know what she looks like, but the girl, you did ask me, the girl from uh, Glacier General is actually sitting at Charlie's table. Oh, yeah, and I don't, but I don't know. Yeah, you don't her. know. Okay, so what was the... What was the bartender's name again? He didn't ask. I thought he introduced. He didn't introduce himself. No. Nope. Oh. But his name is Norm, so don't. His worry. name oh, is not Norm. Norm. <laughs> no. Probably Merle. It's not Merle. Merle. No. Cooter. Do not Merle. say that. How often would you walk into a bar, go up to the bartender, and ask the bartender what their name is? No. Is I'm... his name Turn? Is his name Turner? His name, his last name is. Ooh. Is it Tom? No. Uh, okay. So he comes back with your drinks um, and sets uh, Maxine's down at the table. And he's like, oh, uh, she have to go? Oh, I see. Should I bring it over to her? Or what do you guys think? He's talking to you guys. I left, remember? Uh, I'll, I'll take it for you. Okay, perfect. All right, um, and then he... Did you guys want something to eat at all, or... No? Yes. We all, yes? Uh, what, were you, what were you looking for there, Wyatt? Not Wyatt. Kid. Whatever you recommend. Child. Uh, all right, cool. I'll, uh, I'll pick something out then. And for the rest of you... I'm walking over to Maxine with a drink, so I'm not there. Yeah. All right. Uh, and for you? Nothing. Nothing for me. All right. Uh, well, enjoy. And he walks away. Um, so at the table that Maxine, you're at, the, all of them are drinking wine. Um, <clears throat> uh, uh, Maxine? Oh. Here's your drink. Thank you. There are two at the table who look similar to each other. Um, 
Like hippie chicks? Yeah, kind of. Uh, I'm just trying to find... I'm pretty sure there was another one. There's somebody else who was into, like, art and stuff. I'm just trying to find them. Might have been a kid, so that doesn't really matter then. Okay. There's three people at this table. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, I yeah. try to get... What? You're trying to sit at the table? Yeah, but I was trying to get the bartenders. I'll actually... I'll... Did you... Are they all ladies? Yes. Okay. Did all of you want... Are they drinking the same wine? Are you guys drinking the same wine? Um, well... She has a Merlot and I have a Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. I was gonna see if I could get a bottle for the table, but... Oh, it's fine. We can drink other wines. Is there a preference to uh, a one, red that you the, like? The one girl speaks up. It's like, I have a preference to the wine that I make, but unfortunately, I'm not allowed to bring it in here. I wonder who this is. Oh, you make your own wine, do you? I do. It's enriched. But again, he doesn't allow us to bring it in. I understand. He has an establishment to run. I would feel the same way if somebody brought someone into my shop. Anyway, uh, yes, you can just get us a bowl of uh, house red for the table. That's okay with the rest of you? Uh, yeah, that's fine. No, not a problem. Okay, so I'll walk over to the bartender. When, what's his name? Excuse me. Just wait. Excuse uh, me. Yes, how can I help you, young lady? Hi, sorry, I didn't get your name. Ah, yes, uh, Walter. Walter. Yeah. Okay, hi, I'm Maxine. Um, I'm sitting with those ladies just over there, as you can see. Could we get just a bottle of your house wine? I'm not sure what red it is. Oh, yeah, no problem. Um, one second. Um... Uh... Okay, so I'm going to pop the three people on the screen here. Uh, one sec. Oh, that's silly me. One sec. I just tried dragging from roll 20 again. That doesn't quite work. Um, okay, so we have Charlotte. We have Hippie chick and where is she oh she's not in there is she in here yes she is The stream is now covered with three pictures. Uh, I will send all three pictures to the uh, group chat right away here. Um, what just happened? Oops, I see what happened. Okay, so, one, two, and three. These are the three people at the table. I assume it was the older one that said about the enriched wine? Nope. 
the young one? Yep. The bottom right one. Um, poor, Char poor Charlotte just looking all plain. That's rude. <sighs> What's wrong with her look? She has no medallions or turquoise. She or... looks like a regular human. Yeah, she just looks like a working woman. Anyway, so yeah, you uh, sit down at the table with them, and uh, they start talking about what the next art show is going to be. So... I don't have conversation topics about that, so... Just imagine that they're talking about the next art show. <laughs> Why don't you have conversation? Because <laughs> I don't know how to talk about art. Chat, chat GPT. So, Charlie, is that going to be at your art studio then? Well, we'd have nowhere else to hold it. I don't know. Maybe you have some community center in town somewhere. I'm not sure. No, nothing like that. Okay. Um, by the way, I'm Maxine. I haven't met... I've only met Charlie. Uh, yes. Um, I'm Isabella. This is my daughter, Sophia. And you know Charlotte. Um, Sophia, she owns the general store in town. And then I own, um... Tremaine's curiosities. Oh, okay. So, what is that? What kind of stuff do you have in your store? Um, curious. Mysterious stuff. artifacts and uh, different symbols. We have unique jewelry and trinkets, stuff that I've made myself. Um, things to ward off negative energy. Um, Things like that. And where is where is that in town? What's it? Tremaine's. What's it near? It's right next door. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't see it with it being closed for now. Interesting. Yes, it just has my name at the top. It just says Tremaine's above it. Okay. Fascinating. Well, actually, that kind of with that kind of stuff in your story you said mysterious stuff. It's like that's that's kind of what we're doing in town. I don't know if Charlie said anything about us popping in or about me popping in earlier. That's uh we're looking into mysterious things in town. Oh, no, she didn't mention that and uh Charlie kind of widens her eyes at you and she's like just looks down at a drink, takes a big zip. That's, uh, if you look over at the table there, that's a group of my friends. We came into town and we're, we're doing a, a show, actually, on looking into the mysteries in town here, what's been going on in town. So we're, uh, we're hoping to talk to different individuals in town and get their take on stuff and see if they've seen anything it's that it almost seems like that'd be right up your up your alley isabella is that right or no um i tend to try and keep positive energy around um the stuff that kind of creeps its way into town seems to be a bit more negative and that's not really what i'd be interested in yeah Actually, that's... I talked to... Do you know Cassandra? Oh, yes. We're very familiar with each other. Yeah, she kind of said the same thing. She said that it was like a dark energy, so she she wasn't too fussy about that either. I Have mean, you guys experienced... Well, it's true. Have you guys experienced anything? Like, where you... Like, in town, where you felt something was going on? Or have you talked to anybody where it's like that? Not recently, no. But there's always your type coming through town here trying to figure out the next mystery. Well, wouldn't you be interested in trying to get rid of that energy then? 
that can just bring more harm than good. The world needs to have a balance. And right now the balance yeah. is one way or the other. If you try and yeah, take but... one away, then could be a balance shift. And that could change things dramatically. Okay, sure. But at the same time, too, it was like, you seem to be avoiding that anyway, so... The world needs to be in balance. Okay. So... Just because guys... I want to avoid the negative energy doesn't mean the world doesn't need the negative with the positive. Alright, interesting take. Think about magnets. Now... You need negative no, and positive get... for it to work. No, I, I, yeah, it's like yin and yang. I get it. Exactly. But, but yeah, no, we're just, we're just trying to find people to talk to and, and see what kind of things people have seen or experienced or whatever. We're, we're trying to help people because yeah, some people are scared of it and some people are drawn to it. Like you said, there's always seems to be somebody looking into it, but we're just Did trying Sophia to Did Sophia tell you about Maggie already? I didn't tell yeah. her about Maggie, oh, but no. I told the other one about Maggie. My friend the Frankie. The one with the dark aura. Yes. Damaged oh, aura. Cool. Maybe not dark. Cool. Spooky. No, not spooky. What did I refer to it as? I don't remember. I remember it kind of having some black in it, and it wasn't a great, great idea. All right, well, apparently she's already told one of you, but um, Maggie had something happened to her she won't talk about it but she had something happen to her during the winter festival area somewhere right. around there and yes her her aura has been very off lately yeah frank frankie uh she's she's away or they're away for now but uh but yeah they had mentioned that that was somebody that that uh we might want to well you just said though she doesn't really want to talk about it though i mean but... nobody really wants to talk about negative things why would you when the world can be such a positive place to talk about it's seems con contradictory to bring it down with more negative talk well but at the same time too it's like as you i i understand that some people feel that you know there should be a balance but at the same time too it's like some people want that negative energy out of town they want things to go back to the way they were and oh this is how things yeah. have always been there'll be well, waves of negative and then positive shifts and then waves of negative and then positive shifts think of our but town not to the as same extent. think of our town as the shoreline the tide comes in and the tide goes away. And the tide comes in and the tide goes away. Right now, the tide is in. The tide will go away. Sure, sure. I get that. But I do know that some people... Oh, Evelyn, for one, she she would like to get to the bottom of what's happening at her lodge. She thinks it's like kids playing around, but it's like, I don't think it's that. And it very well could be. but. There's an energy that hasn't left us. So okay. I have a feeling that we're not dealing with a child. Well, she, for one person, would like to get rid of that energy. Because that's what she said. She doesn't she doesn't like the way it, it, it spooks her out. And she's not very happy about it. Maybe it's a malevolent spirit. Who knows? That's what you think it is? Possibly. And you haven't seen anything yourself? I myself, no. Other than the dark energies. But you see that in other people as well, so... Yes, so does Sophia. She had it passed down from me. Okay, well, 
Is there anybody in town that you can think of besides, well, you said you didn't know whether Maggie would talk to us or not, but is there anybody else in town that you think might want to talk to us or, I don't know, or show us a place or that type of thing? Like I said, it's, I, I just, I just want to find out more about it. I don't know. It's possible. Uh, but like I said, not a lot of people want to bring this type of thing to the forefront. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. And nothing, you haven't heard of anything recently? Uh, define recent. I don't know, in the past couple weeks? Nothing comes to mind, no. No. And you said Maggie was back in the Winter Festival? Yes. Okay. And the Winter Festival, that was... Just wait, I gotta look that up. December 30th. So where was the Winter Festival? Just in Main, T Main Street. Okay. And it was Sophia, you said, that said that she had a spooky aura? Maggie? Yes. I found it very off-putting. Okay. Did she seem like she was scared? Um, you could put it that way, yes. And you know where where I could find Maggie? Like, maybe she would talk to us. She spends a lot of time at home. She's um, she's a bit on the elderly side. Uh, uh, I believe she runs a B and B out of her house still. Um, so you might okay. be able to find a sign that just says. B and B, and that'd be where you're looking. Okay. And does she? Is she? You said she was elderly. Does she need anything? Like, I could maybe perhaps pick her up something from one of your establishments. I don't know uh, whether even she's pretty self-sufficient. Nothing from the apothecary or anything like that. Um, I don't know. You'd have to find out what sort of ailments she might have. Okay. I thought There's also a crystal shot section her. in my store that might help out. Um, it wards off bad feelings, bad pains, energies, things like that. Yeah. You will have to charge okay. them once in a while, set them out when there's a full moon, and that'll right. bring the energy back up. Right, I've heard that, yes. Okay. Well, I should probably get back to my friends. It was nice meeting the two of you, and it was nice seeing you again, Charlie. Uh, yeah, it was nice to see you again. Enjoy the wine. Thank you. Okay, so I'll head back to the the guys and Wyatt. Yep. Is Wyatt still trying to get up? Somebody leaves theirs unattended. I'm going to take a sip and then realize that I have made a poor mistake. Horrible, horrible error. Yeah, I'm gonna regret my life decisions. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they didn't really learn much. They told me about the Maggie that Frankie had told us about. That's really all it is for those those three. I don't know whether Charlie would say more after if the other two weren't there, because she's kind of giving me the eye that. She didn't want people knowing, which she kind of indicated earlier. But yeah, that's just really the other two of the S. They they think that this town needs the negative energy to balance the good energy. So I don't know how 
how helpful that is, but yeah, I'm not sure what your thoughts are on that, but that's where we are with that table. Do we, has anybody else seen anybody that is paying attention to us? I don't know who else is here that... I haven't. I doubt that Victor... Victor won't know anybody because he's been at the lodge all day. Yeah, I've been kind of keeping to myself, just kind of watching you guys monitor and things. Nothing from you, Charlie? Nope. Well, that's helpful. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've just been sitting here enjoying my root beer. Looks like you tried some other stuff, too. I don't understand how any of y'all drink that. That is the most terrible thing I've ever had in my life. <laughs> we it warned you. you. Okay. See, and I don't That's what know. They used to say about lima beans, and they were wrong. So wrong. Eventually, well, no. It all tastes like that. Don't bother trying anything else. Yeah. It all tastes like lima beans. I think I think I'm ready to go home and go to sleep and wait for mom. Wait for what? Sorry, hey. you cut out. I think I'm ready to go home, go to sleep, and wait for tomorrow morning. Okay. So, I, I wouldn't know who Vicky is, right? No. Or Victoria? No, you would not. Okay. Because, yeah, without Frankie here, like, I don't know. I don't know who else I could talk to that's here. Because, yeah, because she, or Frankie talked to Edmund, and you said Edmund is there. I wonder if one of you guys... She would have described Edmund, I'm assuming. Wonder what All she described him as was big. Oh, never mind. Because I feel like he would have more in common with you type. Like you or Charlie. Victor or Charlie. Our type? Well, because he's like into track like tracking and woodsy stuff you guys seem very outdoorsy do we now yeah is that not what you do i woodsy feel like things? charlie would not come out to uh, come off as outdoorsy <laughs> we don't do outdoors we do security okay. just because the security is outdoors doesn't mean that we're outdoorsy did you not track do some kind of tracking no we don't track people. We make sure they don't need to be tracked. So we neither one of you have ever tracked. I don't know why I get that vibe from you. We would hire a tracker if I needed to track somebody, which, for your information, I have not needed because I keep my people secure. Okay. Hopefully I don't ever need one. I mean, it could happen. But at this point, I haven't needed a tracker. Okay, I get it. Thank you, Victor. You're welcome. You're welcome. Very, sorry, very helpful. Sorry if I insulted you. No, not an insult. I'm just helping you know what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Like I said, Victoria, I won't know what she looks like. Um. Oh, I guess I could just say, you said Arya was there, right? Yeah. The unfit mother. That's rude. 
who hasn't gone home to feed her kids. Kid. Maybe she has a stay-at-home husband. Oh, maybe. She does not. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Okay, so Wyatt is gone. I think Wyatt said that he was taking off back to the hotel. Okay. Uh, do you want me to move your token away or what? He's like, I'll move my token. I moved Thank it you. already. It's fine. Um, I just I'm using this to kind of keep track of where you guys actually are. Okay, I'll I'll go and say hi to Arya and like let her know that. I talked to Finn. Okay. Okay. Uh, so. Even though she's no longer at the library, she has a wine in front of her and she has a book in her hand as she's reading. And you approach her again. Uh, okay. And she looks up. It's like, oh, um, hi. Did you find him? Uh, yeah. Actually, my friend that just left here, uh, Wyatt and I, tracked him down just like you said he'd be at the park and that's where he was uh I mean, that's yeah, where he's, he's supposed very... to be oh okay he's very he's exactly what how you described he seems like quite the character he is he can be very fun he can be very annoying but uh mm -hmm. for the most part fun um yeah did you get what you needed yeah yeah he's he i yeah i feel like he had a little more rapport with ride of course because they're closer in age but no he's very nice and and just kind of gave us well, about the same details that he told wyatt earlier but it was confirmed but okay yeah uh just for future reference um i'm fine with you talking to him this time around however uh -huh. i don't want his mind wandering thinking that adults are also into this kind of thing that this is just something that kids are thinking about so i would prefer that in the future if you need something just figure it out on your own um i don't need him thinking oh these things are real and there's other adults and now that proves my point understand wow. no i get it i just the way that your son seems, though, it's like he is going to see us around town. Like, there's no... I understand that, but... There's no way about around that. Maybe you'd be doing something else. Who knows? Sure. Sure. Well, sorry you feel that way. Like I said, we're not we're not trying to... That's why I wanted to talk to you in the first place was... Oh, I don't think you are. I'm just saying uh, now I'm going to have to go back home and hear him tell me about how everybody else believes in these monsters and I'm the only one who doesn't now and I just think that it'd be better if he didn't have that um, reassurance that monsters are real, you know? Um, I'd prefer not having to keep looking under the bed or checking in the closets. I would like him to go to sleep and wake up in reality, you know? Did did he ever tell you about seeing anything himself or no? Like he's just scared of like a boogeyman in his closet? Um, he's always been uh, one to think Bigfoot's stalking him in the woods, um, to see things moving in the corner of his room, but nothing major, no. It hasn't become more prevalent this last little while, or no? No. Um, it seems to have died down a little bit, actually. Really? Okay. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, I just wanted to say hi and uh, let you know that we had found him and talked to him, so I'm sure that he'll let you know. But, okay. Well, thanks for your time, and uh, I guess we'll see you around. Uh, just as you walk away from where you are, uh -huh. uh, the lights flicker in the room. Um, <gasps> and the lights 
flicker again and then they go out and then they come back on but in that time that they go out I would like people to do me a favor uh oh I need you guys to roll to read a bad situation what is that plus chart unless you have a move that tells you otherwise I roll two no you're no longer there okay I do scroll scroll it's right here plus two up us that's uh 13 jeez I like this flip die I'm seven. Okay. So we're just going to go with uh, Charlie's roll. Nine. We're just going to go with Charlie's roll. Um, I rolled again and got a three. I like my 15 more. We're not going to go with... Uh, we're not going to go with the advanced roll. We're just going to give you um, three questions. I'm trying to find where these... Oh, read a bad situation? Yeah. It's in your... Uh... One second here. You can keep asking, but I just gotta do something quick. I'd say, what's the biggest threat? Okay. One sec. Look in mine. Um, okay, so, uh, as you look around and try to, oops, Rick, um, my bad, one second, <laughs> um, can I, can I do it easier, can I do it on here, one second. That one's right there. Is it under moves? Uh, yeah. It's under your basic moves. It won't be on your character sheet. It's in the uh, reference oh, sheet. Oh, it's in the book. Yeah. No, there's an actual reference sheet that just just lifts off, lifts off the basic moves. Okay. I'm just going off what I saw at your place then. Okay. Uh, what you what I'll you have on there? Is... Okay. Anyway, so you don't have to share that it. That is she... the wrong one. Yeah, that is the wrong one. That's the right one. Okay. Um. So as I said, as you're looking around, you if in this pitch black room, in the corner of your eye, something catches your eye quickly, and you immediately look over. And you see this staring at you through the window. Hmm. Um, and just so our viewers can understand what is staring at you through the window, I'm going to pop that on here as well. I like how the eyes look on the uh, landscape there. I know, right? <laughs> what do you do? 
Also, what's your next question? What's my best way out? I want to get out to see if I can see what's going on. Uh, just bolting out the door would be your best way out. Yeah. Um, there isn't a whole lot of people standing up, especially because it's pitch black in the room for a second. There's audible gasps around the room, not because they see what you're seeing, but just because the power went out and that's a little bit strange, right? Okay, because uh, dangers I haven't noticed. I'm sure that would be what I seen there. Mm -hmm. Best way to protect the victims. I don't think they're at risk. What's most vulnerable to me? Let's go with that one. I don't exactly know what that means. So. Uh, I mean, last you recall, Wyatt was walking home by himself. Right, oh. yeah. So I am getting outside as fast as I can, and when I'm outside, I'm going to have my gun drawn. All right. As you race outside, you see a... It's still dark out because the lights haven't come back on yet. You see a shadowy figure right outside the window. The head turns towards you. And then vanishes. Uh, how long ago did Wyatt leave? Uh, a minute or so. Do I see him? Or is he far enough away that I don't? Where you would have popped out and where he was going, you would not see him. Okay, I'm going to sprint over towards where he's going and make sure nothing happened. Okay. Uh, Wyatt, as you're walking back to the house, uh, or not the house, the lodge, lodge. Uh, yeah. you hear heavy footsteps behind you. I'm going to duck into the alley. Like in between Glacier Ridge Diner and the Honey Lodge? Uh, say that again? Like in between Glacier Ridge Diner and the Honey Lodge? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Charlie, as you come around the corner, uh, you do not see Wyatt. So I run into the lodge, and when I'm there, I go on the radio. Uh, does anyone have a location on Wyatt, Badoop? Did you get? Did he get his walkie talk, walkie talkie back? Yes, from the he kids? got it back. Oh, I guess okay. nobody told me. Well, Charlie got it back. No, Victor got it back. Yeah. I'm fine. Some dude's out to get me. Where are you? Hiding. Where? Near the lodge. I'll be there as soon as it's clear. I'm in the lodge. Come in when you can. And I'm not aware that I'm the one out to get him. I'm at the entry, essentially ready to fight. <laughs> so everything in the area gets very very quiet um, oops and all you can hear is the wind as it blows down the corridor of Albatross Avenue and as that happens, sorry, Wyatt, are you the only one outside then, or is Charlie outside as well? I think I'm outside. Can I make a roll? Yeah, I'd say I'm right outside the door of the lodge. 
Okay, so both of you are outside. Uh, what is the role you're wanting to make? I'd like to make a hunch. Okay. You'll have to remind me what that does, because I'm not on your character sheet, so give me a sec. Uh, when something bad is happening, or just about to happen, somewhere that you aren't, so maybe it applies, maybe it doesn't, I can roll plus sharp on a 10 plus, I know where I need to go, just in time to get there on a 7 to a 9, I get there late in time to intervene, but not prevent it altogether, or on a miss, I get there just in time to be in trouble myself. If it's not applicable, that's fine. The somewhere that you aren't is the only thing that's throwing me off a little bit. That's fine. Just because, it, like, it's right here. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, there's something I could have done that I didn't know. Okay. Too late. Yeah, like, that's the thing is, you guys need to remember your moves, because they'll be very helpful to you guys. I want yeah. to tune in, then. I could have asked a question about the creature, but it says immediately, so that's done and passed. Um, sure, you can try that. All right. <laughs> Plus weird. What'd you get? I got an eight. All right, so you get to ask one question. So the questions that you can ask with a tune in, tune in is attuning your mind to a monster or minion. You roll plus weird. Um, and then you get to ask up to three questions, but that's only if you roll a 10 plus. On a seven to nine, you get to ask one question. Um, and then you also gain plus one ongoing while acting on the answers. So the questions that you can ask are, where is the creature right now? What is it planning to do right now? Who is it going to attack next? Who does it regard as the biggest threat? How can I attract its attention? I'm going to go with what is it planning to do right now? Um, I mean, this is kind of, it sucks, but whatever. Um, all it's planning to do right now is scare people. Okay. Like it had no intentions of harming anyone. It just wanted to cause a little bit of chaos and a little bit of fright um, so. anyway so as the wind carries down the corridor of this street um you hear a whispering voice as was told to you by Cassandra. To who, Wyatt? No, to Wyatt and Charlie, I believe, because Charlie said he was outside as well. They were going to hear the voice. No, no, I realized they are going to- Cassandra gonna... said it to you. They don't know about this whispering. No, why would why it would have known too? Because why it was in the room. Oh, but right. she, she said. Smart enough to record it. <laughs> she said that in the dark, uh, you hear whispers on the wind. Um, and it says, "In the cloak of shadows, I weave frosty illusions. My laughter echoes through the night, a dance of mischief upon the stage of Glacier Ridge." And then you hear uh, very creepy laughter echo through the wind as well. Like a hyena? hyena sure. Giggling. Oh, those hyenas giggling. 
So Charlie and Wyatt, you both hear that. I'm going to head back into the lodge. And Charlie? Uh, once Wyatt's inside, I'm going to follow, but kind of stay near the entry. Okay. And Maxine and Victor, are you going to head back to the lodge as well? Yeah, if she's done. Uh, oh, the lights come back on, by the, the way. Light. Yeah, the lights are back on. How long were the lights out? The lights were only out for about 15 seconds. Yeah, so the lights would have gone out. You would have heard something that would have come back on and I'd just be gone. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, before we leave... Probably I'm less gonna... than that, actually. Probably more like six seconds, eight seconds. It wasn't even... wasn't super long. Okay, so... Charlie's the only one that saw the face? Yes. Okay. Also, I think only one of you is supposed to roll at a time. So I don't oh. think all of you are supposed to roll there. I did go with his roll being the highest. Yeah. But I think... What did each of you roll? I rolled seven. I think Victor rolled eight. eight. Okay, so none of you failed. Uh, but yeah, just for future reference, we'll only have one person rolling at a time. Uh, so you'll just okay. pick someone? No, you guys have to pick who. Ah, uh, okay. Ugh. Okay. Um, before we go, because like it was definitely weird, right? Like the flickering of lights? Yes. No. You guys like every, are in a, you you guys are in a rural gasped, town. Right? Well, yeah. No, it but it you... got black in, in the tavern all of a sudden. It blacked out. And then it came back. It was a gasp. Because everything's black. Yeah, the power went out and came back. People gasped. Yeah. Okay. So we... Victor and I don't think anything crazy well, going you, on. You saw the power go out. You've heard rumors of the power going out. You've heard stories of power going out. And then... Okay, well, I'm gonna, Vic, before and we Charlie go, is gone when the power comes back on. Right. Um, I'm going to go back to the ladies' table for just a second. Okay. So, are they talking, or have they started talking again, or? Uh, yeah, they're just chatting again. They're, they're, they kind of, like, look around when the lights come back on, and then they're like, whatever, and just start drinking again. All right. So... You guys didn't find that odd? That happening? I don't know. Um, power outages happen. Um, we used to have to deal with this pretty much on a daily basis before they brought the new power poles in, but um, yeah, it's it's normal. Okay. Okay. No, I just are you are you just from a city or have you ever lived in a rural town? Well, no, the city I lived in was pretty big and I've moved around a bit. But yeah, no, not not really a small town. Rural towns, but... this type of thing happens all the time. We don't have the greatest equipment and even a, a strong wind can mess up our power cables. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. It happens. Okay. Just just wondering. All right. See you guys around. See you. Okay. Namaste. I'll go with. Okay, I'll go with Victor. Okay. So you all head back to the Nahani Lodge. Mm -hmm. And once you get back, uh are you all going to bed or what's the plan? They're not going to say anything to us? I don't know. Are they already in bed? I wouldn't I be. You, Vic, or Charlie was outside, he said. No, I'm or in the entry entrance. of it, but right, I would entrance. be waiting for them. Okay. So, what, ha what happened? If yeah, you Charlie, where'd you go? I saw something outside. 
What did you see? I I don't know. Red glowing eyes. Red glowing eyes. Interesting. That's Frankie had that in their notes about someone she talked to said the same thing. Yeah. You saw it at at the bar, like at the pub? Looking in the window. Right when the power went out. Uh, Why it made it back okay? As he he said something was after him. As you guys are talking, you see in the window, not eyes, nothing. All you see is a bony shape start to appear in frost. So like the shape that it's a hand, it's a bony looking hand appearing on the window, but it's just the outline of it and around it is surrounded in frost. And then you hear the hyena chuckle again. We I all go hear back this? outside. Yeah. Where's it gone now? Uh, you didn't hear that? No, no, but uh, yeah. You uh, go outside? Why would you go out there? You go outside, uh, nothing's there. That's right. Figured. Job. Okay. I'm going to do change. a perimeter of the building. I'll go the other way. I'll stay here. Yeah, you might want to yes. get back to yeah. Lock the door. Okay, so Victor goes the other way. Charlie goes the right. We'll go around. I'm Deep just dead. assuming we don't find anything. Uh, which one of you wants to investigate a mystery? Well, since he's rolling so high, we'll get him to roll because my roll was crap. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a one. <laughs> uh oh, I should have rolled. <laughs> it was my turn to get a high one. Five. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, you mark an experience. <laughs> one second now. I gotta find out what you what you what's the problem uh, so it doesn't say sure. on there yeah I think you just don't get anything no I, there's actually something that happens I have to go to the actual book uh, he gets hit by a brick <laughs> falls off the side of the building Victor comes around the building Charlie's laying, on the, <laughs> laying in the snow on a miss you reveal some information to the monster or whoever you are talking to um So, the keeper might ask you some questions, which you have to answer. So, I'm going to can uh, reduce myself to the same questions that you can ask on Investigate a Mystery. Um, and I'm going to ask, what were you going to do? Hmm. Didn't think that far ahead. I was going to try to restrain it if I caught it. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, you don't find anything, though, as you wander around the building. So when I see Victor, did did you see anything? Uh, nothing. How about you? Nada. That was weird, though, right? Something's going on here. Yeah, how can all these people be in the dark? I mean, we've only been here a couple of days, and this is what we're seeing. They might be brushing it off as figments of the imagination. Yeah. The show is going to see some stuff here. That's all I can say. Well, hey. we just got to make sure none of them get hurt doing it. Yep. It might be a harder job than I thought. All right. And okay, I'm going to... Go ahead. Just one sec. Back in, back in my room, I'm going to make a note of the fact that Cassandra had told me, or told Wyatt and I about 
how this thing seems to be drawn to like large groups of people like so the pub was where like a bunch of people were mm -hmm. so I just want to remember that so I'm writing like making sure that I write that down to bring up to Frankie and the rest of the crew yep okay dear diary <laughs> okay um okay. so you um all right so you all are going to bed and i think that is a better time than any to call it a day so with for that, a night that is also a fair choice so did anyone have that timing for the music where it was or night dun, dun, dun. i did yeah <laughs> i was like that's great <laughs> You, you and I are the only ones in the music, so. Uh, okay. Uh, what was that, uh, Wyatt? I'll have to check it next week, but I don't think I can get in still. That's weird. What if I, like, share it directly to you? Um, let's try via Skype. Or not. Does that work for you or no? Anyway, are you shutting her down then? Yeah, I was calling it a night. Anyway, uh, okay, so before we do that though, something we missed on the first run through of our first, not our first game, but our second game technically. Our first game was basically an intro game, but our second game we did possibly do some of these so at the end of each se session the keeper will ask the following questions so first question did we conclude the current mystery yes or no no, no. no. did we save someone from certain death or worse yes or well, no, no. Sure there's a predator chasing down wyatt there yeah it was you <laughs> uh did we learn something new and important about the world yes or no yes the monster, the monster is real. What was that, Wyatt? I learned he wasn't going to hurt anybody. He just wanted to scare everybody. That's true. Uh, did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? Yes or no? No. No. Okay. So, if you get one or two yes answers, you mark one experience. If you get three or four, you mark two. So you got one yes answer, so you mark one experience. Charlie, you mark an additional experience because you also got a failed roll. Yes. I did that when I failed. Perfect. So, that ends our session, everyone. Now, I hope everybody enjoyed our first glimpses into the monster. Um, hope everybody enjoyed the little bit of investigation. I hope everybody loves the map that I spent so many hours working on. Seconds. Tirelessly Seconds. working That's on great. it. That's great. Maybe 30 uh, seconds. It was longer than 30 seconds, unfortunately. <laughs> That's like... <laughs> that was like 15 minutes. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, we will see you all next week. And um, stay spooky, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.